It was another busy day on the Space Coast. SpaceX launched a rocket this afternoon with thousands of pounds of gear headed to the International Space Station. By this time Thursday, the astronauts will have food, replacement parts, and new science experiments. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is here to explain how some of those experiments will have a Made in Florida stamp on them. Evan. Uh, Haley, how cool is this? A UF professor is trying to study how astronauts will react to infections so that when missions begin to the moon and Mars, they'll have the right medicine on board to stop a catastrophe. For Kelly Rice, watching a rocket blast off is like being in heaven herself. I'm still basking in it. <laughs> uh, it was amazing. And the lift off. Go Sigmund, go Falcon. All aboard the SpaceX rocket that blasted off just after noon Tuesday are thousands of pounds of gear. Stuff to fix the International Space Station with, food for the crew, and 3,000 pounds of science equipment. That includes an experiment designed by UF professor Dr. Kelly Rice. I've been a lifelong science fiction space nerd and just being able to incorporate that into my actual work that I do has been incredible. When the ISS astronauts get their latest payload, they'll unpack a kit that will allow them to test how being in low gravity impacts staph infections, which can be super dangerous for an astronaut. Those can block the usual ways our bodies stop infections. They're looking at sending humans uh, back to the moon, to, to Mars eventually, and so for these longer-term spaceflight missions, it's incredibly important to make sure everything works perfectly. Astronauts will grow bacteria in enclosed canisters, then freeze their findings and send them back to Earth on a future flight. Her previous studies have already shown that a lack of gravity can make staph infections more severe. Under certain conditions where one's immune system is compromised or if there's a breach in our skin, um, it, can, it can very quickly go from being a harmless bacteria on the skin to a harmful, very uh, serious infection. For a scientist used to the lab, the real world has never looked so big. It's our first flight mission, so it was especially exciting to see the launch. The experiment will be returning on a future mission back from the ISS to Earth, but a date for that has not been set. The astronauts will be thrilled to get her experiment, of course, but also I'm sure the payload of fresh fruit and ice cream that the SpaceX rocket brought will be uh, much more appealing to them, at least in the short term. It's all going to be there early Thursday morning, Haley. Wow. I yeah, I'd have to think with some of the foods they've been eating for a while, fresh fruit, <laughs> Cold nice, ice cream, right? that's going to hit the spot. Some apples, some ice cream, you can't beat. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, Evan.